now it's time for tonight's orthopaedic question time. Please welcome your host, Mr. Jonathan Dimbleby. Vicky O'Hara, you've got a question. Good evening. Um, what are the latest advances in minimally invasive surgery and computer-assisted surgery? Latest advances? Who's going to come in there? Harvey, can you come in there first? So in terms of, first of all, minimally invasive surgery, um, you can look at trying to do things through smaller incisions, uh, faster rehab for patients, um, and different types of approaches. So, for instance, um, the Bath Clinic over the past two years now have been doing minimally invasive hip replacements through an incision, sometimes that long, uh, with a view to then doing very little muscle cutting. And they can get up and walking, and you can, and I try and even sometimes get the patients walking on the day of surgery. So I've reduced my length of stay, got the patients going very quickly. So you can, in terms of minimally invasive surgery, do s smaller incisions, very little muscle trauma, get them up and walking even on the same day, get them out and going and returning to a high level of activity. So by around four weeks, they should be walking without any sticks or any crutches, and even going back to work sometimes. So we, we're now doing that routinely here in Bath. Um, and we are still looking at, well, I'm constantly looking at trying to improve my practice, um, trying to move ahead. And even for instance, myself and Mike uh, are going off to Belgium next for a day, next Tuesday to look at another approach to see if we can improve things further. There are things going on, there are things being done in Bath, we have really pushed that. In terms of computer assisted surgery, um, I, I did quite a lot of work on computer assisted surgery some years ago. I thought I was going to do a lot more computer assisted surgery in Bath, but I don't think the results of it justify the usage of it in terms of uh, potentially the outcomes. Um, it looks, it looks great as a surgeon and the trainees love it because it's got fantastic screens, lots of great instruments, great pictures. I presented at the computer assisted meeting in uh, Helsinki um, some years ago and in terms of that it looks absolutely fantastic but the results really weren't there to justify the use of it. Uh, the technology wasn't that good, there was significant complication rate. Um, and actually the, the component alignment wasn't as good as it should have been potentially. MIS, however, is different. MIS does offer faster rehabilitation and quicker recovery and less pain. But you have to remember that uh, with MIS, the outcome at three months is the same. So it's only short-term gain, but there is no long-term advantage. And that works very well. Yeah. And certainly the scar is there forever. It's a small scar. So particularly women, you, you know, you can hide it very well around the hip or around the knee. And for some people, that is very important. Quite important for some men too. <laughs>